All right, this video is going to be nice and short today. Um, so today we're going to be covering how to create a drop-down list within Excel. Uh, it, it's super easy to do. It shouldn't take super long. Um, there's tons of applications for drop-down lists um, within Excel, and I'll kind of let you guys think of that. But in order to make one, we need to select a, a set of cells or a range of cells. So let's just go ahead and select column C here. Um, we'll go to data. And then we'll click on this tool right here, which is the data validation tool. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Um, in the settings here, we'll click this, we'll find the list. And then here, this is where you enter um, the inputs for your drop down list. So let's just uh, come up with some inputs real quick. Let's just say Walmart, oh, Walmart. Let's just do like a list of grocery stores, um, Target the farmers market if I could spell today and then I will just do other alright and you need to separate each of these by a comma and by separating each by a comma it will create a different input for your drop down lists and go ahead and hit OK and I'll show you what I mean by that <clears throat> so here in column C you'll notice this little arrow in these other columns that doesn't exist but every cell in column C will have this little drop down arrow You'll go ahead and click that, and you can go ahead and select one of the options that we inputted that is separated by a comma. So we'll go ahead and choose Walmart. And notice that if we try to type something other than what is um, allowed um, or that we have validated, like let's say we want to put type in Best Buy, it won't let us. Um, it won't let us because of the restrictions we put through the data validation. All right. Um, so that's super quick. So, you know, just just a brief example, like let's say, you know, this is where we go shopping. So we'll have this column where we go shopping, the price, let's say we spent $24.99 and we're just creating a table for each transaction. We'll just put the date here, the location and the price, right? So let's say it's um, today is 11.17. Um, so November 17th, um, let's just say from then on, we can use this column to select where we buy from, right? So let's say we only go to these stores or we can select other or whatnot. Super simple, just using data validation to create a drop down list. Super simple and easy in Excel. And I invite you guys to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and, and uh, hit that bell for future content. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.